Hi! Here it is. The promised video. Mm. Yeah. First things first, though. I need to fangirl for like two seconds about that last episode of Glee. Because that made my week. My week that was filled with exams and stuff. Yeah. The only thing that was as good as that was um, Molly's video. Because that was so nice. And really, that was great. But Okay, I'm not squealing. You know what that sounds like. Fangirl squeals. Yeah, I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna do my list now. 20 things to do before I die. I have to warn you right away. I kind of cheated. Meaning I sometimes did like two or three different things at one point because I just couldn't decide. I couldn't leave them all out. So, yeah. Sorry. Okay, uh, I'll just start. Okay, 20 things to do before I die. The first is, write a novel. One that says everything I want to say to this world. Everything I want to leave behind. Everything that matters about me. Everything I need someone to hear. I want to write a novel that matters, not just something. I mean, it would be good to just write something, but I want to really, I want one meaningful novel before I die. So, yeah. The second is uh, quite similar, actually. It's um, write a musical and or play and see it come to life. Because I've already started all of those. I've already started writing a novel, I've already started writing a musical, and I've already started writing a play. Several things for each respective category. Um, but everything kind of sucks, so one day, one day it will be great. It has to, because I will not die before that. So that's that. The third is direct a play. I've always wanted to do that, because as much as I love being on stage, sometimes when you work with directors who are not as passionate as you are, you just get quite frustrated because um, you can't... If you have no saying in it and you have so many ideas and you just want to shake the people and say, God damn it! Wake up! Enjoy this! And do it like this and this and this because this is not believable what you're doing there. So, that's always been something I wanted to do. Plus, I think it's, it's uh, something any actor who takes himself serious should do, you know, once in their life. So, yeah. I want to direct a play. Woohoo. The fourth is learn how to draw portraits. Because I, I'm like Hermione. I, I really can't draw. I really can't draw. But um, my favorite place in the world other than the stage is the train station because it's so fascinating there's so many interesting different kinds of people and I just wish I could take out a sketch block and um, and just sketch pat that's what it's called and um, and just draw their faces and their facial expressions and all that stuff and you know they're pictures should actually resemble them, so that would be great if I could do that at some point in my life. Okay, number five is, here it comes, be a cast member of Rent. Yes, that's impossible in Germany, because there is no Rent in Germany, it doesn't exist in Germany. Plus, you have to be insanely talented to be in, in rent. So, I think I would be the kind of cast member that is Alexi Darling. And yeah, I think I would be her. 
and um, Roger's mom and stuff. I think that's my part. It's the only thing I'm good enough to do. Whoa. But yeah, seeing as Rent is really the show that means the most to me, I would really, 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 really want to be in it just once. Even if it was just stupid student production or something. But that's not gonna happen, so... I'm gonna be in Rent someday. And it's gonna be totally awesome. <sighs> yeah, I have to do that just once. Okay, moving on. Next one. Number six. Is see a show on Broadway? Because I still haven't left Germany. I've never been to the US. And I really haven't been to Broadway. I need to go see Broadway. I mean, it's, it's, it's Broadway. And I'm here. And I really want to see a show there. Hmm. Someday. And this is one of the numbers in which I kind of cheated because it also says be on Broadway. So, yeah. I, you can call that ambitious or just plain ludicrous, you know. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I'm sorry that took so long. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but his dream isn't being on Broadway just once. I don't need to play a leading role. I don't need to win a Tony. I just want to be on Broadway. Yeah. Number seven is uh, see the Northern Lights and go to Egypt. Again, I cheated. But, you know, I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights, and I am so fascinated with all things ancient Egypt. So, I, re I really have to get into that a bit more, and have to be there. You know, actually see the stuff, not just look at pictures. Yeah. Um, number eight is go tracking in the Himala Himalayan mountains. I have no idea where I whether I just pronounced that right. Yeah. Um, that pretty much stands for itself. I've always been very drawn to it, even though I don't like mountains and snow. But I want to go there just once. And I want to do this. Because it's, it's... I don't know why, it just calls out to me. So, yeah. We'll see. Number nine is being actively involved in a protest or in a Greenpeace project. Preferably a Greenpeace project. Because I think what they're doing is really important. And I'm a passive member and everything. Told you I was a bit of an So, yeah. I want to do something meaningful. One single time in my life. Um, number ten is make a movie. But I don't mean be in a movie. I don't really have to be in a movie. It's, it's not something that I need to experience. It would be great, but I would rather make a movie. You know, like a, a short documentary or something. Again, something that matters, not just something. So, that's that. Eleven is Master Defying Gravity and other hyper-difficult songs. Because I think the day when I master defying gravity, I will be able to call myself a singer. And I look forward to that day. And someday I am going to reach that. So that's going to be great. Number 12 is, again, I cheated, learn how to dance and to sword fight. Because I, for the love of me, can't dance. I try, I'm working on it, but I really can't do it. And I'm so interested in sword fighting, I don't know why. It's just something that I've always wanted to do, so... But I don't mean fencing, I mean sword fighting, with actual real swords. So, yeah. Number 13 is doing that typical road trip through the US. Because 
I've always, my dream has always been, you know, just get in the car and drive wherever the road takes you. And, um, yeah, I really want to do that road trip through the U.S. I would love that. Number 14 is learn at least three dead languages and six that are still used, including sign language. I think that pretty much speaks for itself. 15 is um, do the entire journey on the Trans-Siberian Express and spend the time reading classics and getting to know people that might be traveling with me or might be total strangers. So, but mostly just reading classics. Yeah. Number 16 is get a tattoo. I still haven't got one. I've wanted one forever and I even know which one to get. And um, it's the sign of my of my drama group. So, yeah. It's subtle and nice and beautiful and it will always remind me of the best time of my life. So, I really want that and I still haven't done it. So, I need to go out there and just do it already. I'm 18, I'm allowed to. And I can't do this. So, 17 is record an album slash be in a band. So, one or the other, possibly both. Again, I cheated. Number 18 is own or work at a cafe in which there are meetings to discuss literature and philosophy. Enough said. I just love literature and I can't get enough talking about philosophy. So, that's great. I love that. Um, number 19 is spend a year touring with a group of people. For example, actors or, you know, the, the ones that do those medieval, medieval, how do you pronounce that? Medieval festivals or, um, or just hippies, because I love them. So, yeah, I definitely need to tour for a year. I would love that. And number 20, listen good, is document my achieving these goals every step of the way. Okay, so that was my 20 things to do before I die list and I'm very curious what yours is gonna be like, are gonna be like, yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm wishing you a great day. I hope you have a great time and I hope this didn't totally bore you. So Okay, bye.